Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in my home garage and we are working on my 34 Ford that it was sitting in a dry garage for about 50 years untouched. And I'm about ready to put my brand new reproduction fuel tank back into the car. And I've inspected all the original fuel lines and they're actually in really great shape on the exterior. And they don't look to be rotted or thin or pitted or anything like that. So I think we can go ahead and reuse them. Now what you want to do with a car like this that's been sitting a really long time is you want to make sure that you're blowing out any of the breaker fuel lines if you're going to reuse them to make sure that there, in this case there isn't any varnish, any dirt, any surface rust or anything like that that's sitting in those lines that may instantly clog your fuel, fuel filter or even worse get past the filter into your carburetor or your fuel uh, injection system. So. What I like to use is Eastwood Aerosol Injected Cleaner. Uh, this has uh, two nozzles on it. It has a special nozzle here that has a taper that I use for uh, paint guns and things like that quite often. But it also has this tapered nozzle here that you can put on. It has these little ears so you can put your fingers on. And what I do is I shove it into the fuel line until it's basically uh, a nice seal around the taper. And then I push on um, the ears here with my fingers and it'll shoot the uh, injected cleaner all the way through the line and it will blast everything out. And what you'll actually see is all that brown, like in this case, brown old fuel uh, that might be sitting in the lines or varnish. It'll, it'll blast it all out of there and get it out in one shot really quickly and easily. So I'm gonna show you guys on this car right here how well it works. All right, so there you have it after just a couple uh, rounds of spraying with the uh, Eastwood aerosol injected cleaner, I was able to blow the fuel lines out and you saw that they went from that brown crud that was pushed out initially to in the end, it was just perfectly clear fluid that was coming through there. Now we have the peace of mind knowing that I'm not gonna throw any junk through the fuel system when we start this thing up for the first time and we can connect our new fuel tank up, hook everything up and we should be good to go. If you want to learn more about all of the Eastwood aerosol injected products, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys. Catch you later.